सो हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इनविजिबल थ्रेड्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस डिफिकल्ट पीरियड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस सम न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स रिगार्डिंग कुलम फोर्सेज एंड फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स सो विदाउट एनी फार दर डिले लेट्स बिगिन सो विल स्टार्ट अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम ऑन कुलम फोर्सेज सो आवर फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज लाइक दैट टू आइडेंटिकल कंडक्टिंग स्मॉल स्फीयर आर गिवेन चार्जेस ऑफ ऑपोजिट साइन so here you can see the diagram q1 and minus q2 these attract each other with this force of 0.3 newton when placed at a distance of 30 cm 30 cm is equal to 0.3 meter so you can see here and uh, these spheres are then connected by a conducting wire when conducting wire is removed the spheres repel each other with a force of 0.1 newton at the same distance 30 cm find the initial charges on each sphere so here is the case 1 q1 and minus q2 so they are separated by a distance of 30 cm and the force acting between them is 0.3 newton in the case 2 uh, two spheres are connected by a conducting wire and the charges will be distributed among them and since the distance is 30 cm again it is 30 cm but the force acting between them is 0.1 newton so for case 1 what we can see coulomb force of attraction between the two spheres having charges q1 and minus q2 is given by f is equal to q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon not times r square r is here 30 cm means 0.3 uh, meter is equal to 0.3 newton so from where we get this value of q1 q2 is equal to 3 times 10 to the power minus 12 and when these charges are connected by a conducting wire charges will flow until their potentials are equal means the each uh, sphere will have the same potential until then the charges will flow so the net charge will be equal to q1 minus q2 and charge on each sphere will be q1 minus q2 divided by 2 so in the case 2 according to cos chain the coulomb force after disconnection will be f is equal to each sphere having the charges of q1 minus q2 divided by 2 so this is q1 minus q2 divided by 2 times q1 minus q2 divided by 2 times divided by 4 pi epsilon not times r square r is here again the same 30 cm and the force acting between them will be 0.1 newton so q1 minus q2 its whole square is equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 12 so from where we can get the value of q1 minus q2 is equal to plus minus 2 times 10 to the minus 6 this is our equation number 1 so so again all we know that q1 plus q2 is equal to under root of q1 minus q2 its whole square plus 4 times q1 q2 so we have the value of q1 minus q2 that is its whole square will be 4 times 10 to the minus 12 plus 4 times 3 into 10 to the minus 12 so from where we can get that q1 plus q2 is equal to plus minus 4 times 10 to the minus 6 so from solving the equation of q1 plus q2 and q1 minus q2 we can get that q1 is equal to plus minus 3 micro coulomb and q2 is equal to minus plus of 1 micro coulomb so our next problem will be this one so what is states that two charges having charges of plus 20 micro coulomb and 40 micro coulomb are situated at point a and b and separated by a distance of 20 cm so find the point in between a and b at which the magnitude of the electric field is zero so we assume that at the point p the magnitude of the electric field is zero let at point p in between a and b the electric field vanishes so electric field at point p due to charge at a what will be ea is equal to the constant is 9 into 10 to the power 9 times the charge is 20 times 10 to the minus 6 that is 20 micro coulomb divided by a square so we take the p we will take the point p from the charge a is at a distance of a so the rest will be 20 minus a centimeter so ea will be this much amount and acts towards a to b why because a in the point a we have some positive charge of 20 micro coulomb again the electric field at point p due to charge b due to charge at b what will be eb is equal to this much amount of towards b to a because we have that at the point b we also have the positive charge so the total electric field at point p is equal to zero it means at point p ea and eb have equal in magnitudes but in opposite direction 
I have shown the direction of EA and EB here you can see so from that EA is equal to EB what we can get that after equating this two we can get that A is equal to minus 40 plus minus 40 root 2 divided by 2 so putting the value of root 2 is equal to 1.4 around so we will get the value of A like minus 48 and 8 so value of A cannot be minus 48 so the distance of P from A will be 8 centimeter because so this is AP is equal to 8 centimeter what we are getting AP is equal to 8 centimeter so this is the problem you have seen now our next problem will be the problem of electric fields so two point charges are separated by a distance of 40 centimeter what is the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the point P in between two charges that is 20 centimeter from point A so we have that at the point A we have minus 2 micro coulomb and at point B we have plus 4 micro coulomb so distance between A and P is 20 centimeter so distance between B and P it will be also 20 centimeter is equal to 0 0.2 meter so electric field due to charge A at point P what it will be EA is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught QA divided by RAP its whole square is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the power minus 5 10 to the power 5 sorry as the charge is negative at the point A so that the direction of the electric field point towards P to A I have shown the electric field direction uh, due to the charge uh, of minus 2 micro coulomb at situated at the point A so electric field exerted by charge B on point P what it will be EB is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught times QB divided by RBP its whole square so from there we can get the value of EB is equal to 9 times 10 to the power 5 as the charge B is positive we have seen the value is 4 micro coulomb so we can get the direction of the electric field points toward B to P you can see the direction here this is the direction of the electric field this is B to P so the total electric field what it will be it will be at point P it will be acting towards A so E is equal to EA plus EB that is 4.5 times 10 to the power 5 plus 9 into 10 to the power 5 that is 13.5 times 10 to the power 5 the unit of the electric field you can see that is Newton per Coulomb so our next problem will be on this is one kind of MCQ multiple choice type question a penny carrying a small amount of positive charge QP exerts an electric force F on a nickel carrying a large amount of positive charge QN that is the distance D away where QN the charge carried uh, carrying by the nickel is very greater than the charge carrying by the penny penny is carrying a positive charge and nickel is also carrying a positive charge so the electric there are four options I am reading the options the electric field electric force force exerted on the penny by the nickel is also equal to F so the number of electrons on the penny is less than the number of protons in the penny another one is that f is proportion uh, at the value of around 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught times qp qn divided by d square when d is small compared to the size of the coins another one is f is almost equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught qp qn divided by d square if d is large compared to the size of the coins now i have to sh uh, show which one is not true So from the option 1 you can see that the electric force exerted on the penny by the nickel is also same is also equal to F. So suppose from the Coulomb's law we have seen that the force acting between the two charges is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught times QP QN divided by D square. So it is the force acting on QN due to QP or on QP due to QN. So it is true. In the second option the number of electrons on the penny is less than the number of protons in the penny. If, suppose in the when the penny is not charged it means the penny is neutral. Suppose there is 90 number of nucleus is there and minus 90 number of elect or minus uh, 90 number of electrons is there. So the overall charge of the penny will be neutral 
and if I remove three electron from the penny so it gets now it have 19 number of nucleus and 87 number of electrons so obviously it will get three units of positive charge and the number of electrons is less than the number of nucleus that's why it gets positive charge so the number of electrons on the penny is less than the number of protons in the penny it is also the true option but in the third option you can see that f is proportional to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught times q p q n divided by d square if d is small compared to the size of the coins because basics of Coulomb's law what we have discussed before is that the interspatial distance is large so this is the basics of Coulomb's law the interspatial distance is large with respect to the size of the charges so this is the discussion of the point charge from where we can get the idea of the point charge so d must be very large compared to the size of the coins so it is not true and the fourth option what it states that f is almost equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q p q n divided by d square if d is large compared to the size of the coin so i have just uh, told you that the d must be large compared to the size of the coin so t it is also true so this is true this is true this is true so the only option that is not true is that that the the if the d is small compared to the size of the coins so my friends i am concluding my discussion here in the next video i will talk about some more rigorously on electric fields and some more part on this stay tuned and keep supporting do like share and subscribe with your family and friends and press the bell button also for new updates Thank you.